Um, so, um, yeah, my name is Cisco Fauli. I work for TDF. I partly work for TDF, uh, part time. I've uh, been in TDF for the last three years, and I do uh, mostly QA. Um, it's going to be a short talk because uh, when I submitted it, I did it as a lighting talk, but then they gave me half an hour, so yeah, I don't have enough things to say, so yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, so I want to talk about uh, how we try to prioritize bugs in Bugzilla um, and in LibreOffice project, and the reason I want to talk about it it's because in Baxilla, well, in our bug tracker, uh, this is a screenshot I, I took the other day. So you can uh, put in content uh, uh, how many bugs we deal with every day. So right now we have uh, 72,000 bugs. And uh, well, right now some are still unconfirmed, needs to be triage. Uh, uh, 13,000 13, are new, and then uh, 50, more than 50,000 are resolved. So <clears throat> I've used this uh, screenshot before in other presentations, and then when I was working on this presentation, I thought, okay, let's compare it with a uh, previous one. So this one is uh, from September 2018. Uh, obviously, the numbers, the total numbers, were less. But what surprised me was that, well, uh, comparing, um, let's say, one year and a half, more or less, ago and now, we see that the number of new bugs uh, has increased only by 6%. But then it's uh, yeah, interesting to see that, uh, well, the number of Resolved bugs increased by 16%, and then the verified uh, 68%, and then the total 16%, which is in line with the number of resolved bugs. So yeah, it was interesting to me to see um, how the new bugs are not increasing that much. But yeah, back to the back to the topic of uh, prioritizing bugs. Um, so oh oh, there's a Wait, <laughs> um, I think this is not the, sorry. I'm using the, sorry? I think I'm using the, the wrong, sorry for that. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I was using the, the wrong file. <laughs> so um, uh, in Baxilla, we have these uh, five uh, categories of, uh, or uh, levels of uh, priorities in, in, in Bax. So uh, high guest or P0 could be crash, uh, loss, uh, data, inability to install, and what is important to me is that, uh, well, it affects all or nearly all users and documents. Therefore, um, we also have high, uh, high, severity, uh, high priority category, and it's, uh, it's not as important as high guess, but then uh, it's with uh, serious problems and uh, with open certain documents, and then tedious is slow and affects many users. And then we also have these three categories. Normally, when a bug is uh, reported, in general, it just goes to medium. And then uh, in a few cases, it just goes to low or lowest. Um, yeah. So this is from our uh, wiki page. And <clears throat> this is uh, the usual uh, flow uh, when someone is uh, triaging a bug, uh, normally we try to follow this. So I don't know if you can read it, but 
Uh, let's say you are triaging a bug. First thing you have to ask yourself is, uh, it's a crash, it's losing the uh, data, inability to install. Then if it's yes, then you should, um, well, you should ask these questions like it's a, uh, I can read it. <laughs> Wait, I can just. Yeah, so basically, you can uh, you can ask you, you you can ask yourself: Does this bug uh, 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 happen very frequently? Does this bug involve major components, or does this bug affect components that affect many users? So basically, this is the the way you video is not working. It seems. It's not, it's not even recording. Um, I don't know, but people in the internet said that it's not. Uh, maybe it's recording, but not uh, bro broadcasting. I don't know about that, but that's, it says recording there. It's mm -hmm. flashing, and that's on your screen, isn't it? I think it's all right. I don't know about broadcasting live. I don't know. Let me check. There's no green light. Yeah, because this feeds into the POSDEM box as the flashing red recording light, so I think it's fine. Okay. People say so. Yeah, so <clears throat> this is uh, <coughs> basically the, float, uh, yeah, the workflow we have been using in QA um, since uh, yeah, the, the project started. Um, so then I wanted to analyze like how the progress of uh, highest priority issues went in the last years. So this is from the last five years. And then back in the time, it was, it was around 80, um, yeah, 80 uh, highest uh, priority issues in Baxilla. So then we, found, we found out that uh, people, uh, normal users, they were increasing the uh, priority of, of those bugs and then we had really high, uh, high number of uh, priority bugs. So at this point, we decided to create a contributor group, a contributor uh, group, uh, group, sorry. <laughs> and then we see that from there, the number of uh, high accessibility bug went down. So at this time, uh, right now, it's around 20. So the trend, it's... Uh, going well, so it should be, ideally it should be zero, but at least the, the trend shows that, um, yeah, it's going down. So sometimes uh, when, uh, when we are triaging bugs, it's easy to find that it's a crash or it's a data loss, uh, but we don't really know, or we didn't know how many users were affected by this bug. So we, here we have uh, an example in the EC meeting, uh, EC meeting it's a meeting we do weekly. Uh, developers, UX, QA, uh, documentation, everyone in the project is uh, 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 participating in this uh, meeting. So we have a section for QA, and then we just say, okay, these are, these are the most pressing bugs or highest uh, priority bugs. So <clears throat> sometimes we found, for instance, this issue here, which uh, at first glance, it doesn't look like a crash or uh, it doesn't look like a data loss or it's not affected installation. But that, uh, then we found that many users were affected by this issue. So if I open it in, in Baxilla, I see that uh, we have many people in CC, which means they are kind of interested in the issue. And also we, we had many duplicates for this issue. So that means that we got many reports in Baxilla complaining about this issue. This, this was for 6.3, released a half a year ago. <coughs> so yeah, as I said, uh, when you look at this, at this bug, you think it's not at first glance, you think it's not a, a highest severity bug or highest priority bug, but then considering the number of uh, duplicates and the number of people in CC, uh, yeah, we decided to, to 
put it in as a high accessibility bug. So um, recently, we are also using this, uh, apart from the uh, flow, uh, flow chart that I showed you before, we are also using this kind of uh, rules. So uh, basically, we can have two kind of issues or two kind of tickets in Baxilla. Uh, either they are bugs or they are uh, enhancements. So if we check if it's a bug, then we see if there are more than uh, 20 people in the CC list or we have more than five uh, duplicates. And then if it's a regression, then we say, okay, this is a high uh, severity bug. And if it's not a regression, then we say it's a high severity bug. And then for enhancements, uh, we say that if there are more than uh, 20 people in CC and more than five duplicates, then it's a high severity enhancement. Um, when I was doing, uh, well, I started to use this, uh, these rules recently, and then I found that many enhancements were put to high guest. And yeah, in my opinion, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense because, uh, yeah, it's true that an enhancement can be reported many times, and um, yeah, some people, or many people would, um, many of our users would like to have it, but it doesn't mean it's really urgent to be fixed. That's, that's why it doesn't make sense to have a highest priority enhancement. So um, after doing this uh, cleanup, we found that, uh, well, we, we were around 16, and then we, have, we found some all uh, bugs that weren't uh, tagged as highest priority bugs, so now they are uh, kind of uh, more important, and they need they have more priority uh, to be fixed in, in in the list of issues. And then in the EEC meeting, we started to uh, track the high priority issues as well. So now every week we see which uh, issues are turned into high severity bug as well. Um, so yeah, this way what we can do, what we see is that uh, we are having the same trend with uh, high severity bugs or high priority bugs. So then uh, in five years ago, it went up to uh, 600. Now it's going, uh, at this point it was around 460. Then here is when I did the, this uh, all clean up and now it's around 400. So, um, yeah, the trend is showing that we are going in the uh, right direction. There is still a long uh, way to go, but uh, yeah, it seems that we are getting there. It's a long, long process. Uh, so this is uh, from last two months, more or less. So we see that here, when we did this uh, cleanup, it went from uh, 460 to 380, and now it's around 400. And now this is the current status. Uh, high guest priority box, it's uh, 22, and high, uh, high priority box, uh, 398. And yeah, the, we have also this wiki page, which might be interesting to track these kind of issues. So we have a page in Baxilla for uh, stats. And here we can see, for instance, the, la the list of uh, uh, regressions by number of people in CC, and here the list of regressions uh, by number of duplicates. So for instance, we see that uh, right now the open regression, which is interesting <coughs> or it's affecting more people based on, peop on number of people in CC is uh, the fonts getting blur uh, in macOS. And then same for number of duplicates. We have the same problem. Uh, macOS both um, regarding fonts. Those are right now the most, well, based on what users report and what users are interested in, right now these are the two most pressing bugs that should be fixed and as soon as possible. Um, problem is that it's not that <coughs> trivial or no one 
it's uh, really interesting to fix it. So I hope that TDF can tender these uh, problems to be fixed this year. So that, that's my hope. And I'm uh, putting some pressure there. And yeah, that's uh, basically it. So thank you. And do you have any question? You mean number of visits and visits, how much uh, searches run? Huh? I've never used it, uh, so I have no idea. Maybe, maybe if we don't have it, we can integrate it and then have more uh, input on there. But I don't know. Yeah, to see what people look for and, uh-huh, okay, yeah. So TDF per se doesn't have developers or paid developers. So we are based on uh, contributors or uh, affiliated companies, uh, CIB, uh, uh, Collabora, or others, or needs from Hungar Hungarian government and others. So basically, the way it works, in my experience, is that if an issue or a bug is a regression, then we normally bisect this regression, we find the commit where the regression was introduced, and then QA. Like, uh, I do that, and a QA team do that. Uh, so if we have a regression and we have a commit showing where the problem uh, get, got introduced, then, uh, well, it's, we kindly ask the developer to fix it. And in most of the cases, they fix it. So once we have that commit, then everything gets uh, um, speed up and yeah, gets fixed uh, quite soon. If the issue is not fixed or it's, let's say, a long-standing issue that no one is really taking care of, then, uh, well, for this kind of issues like this Mac uh, problem we have with, with fonts, the problem here is that it's not a regression in LibreOffice, but it's a regression in Xcode that where now the rendering is different. So we have to, let's say, change the code to work uh, properly with this version of Xcode. So in that case, uh, well, if no one is fixing that, we should find other alternative. And right now, one alternative is to uh, propose TDF to tender that, that fix or, or find someone to, to, to fix it, but yeah. So, that's it, okay, thank you, thank you.